bag. Tools can easily cost you 50 to hundreds of dollars a pop. If you don't have the right thing, well, you're pretty much out of luck. And if it's a specialized one-time job, you may never use that expensive tool again. Suzanne Lawler shows you why historic making is getting in on a new trend developing across the country to make sure you can always get the right tool for the job for free. Sometimes you just need power tools around the house, but you need different tools for different jobs. If you don't have it, no problem. Historic Macon has you covered. They just opened a tool library where you can go check out things like reciprocating saws or a table saw. No problem, you check it out, bring it back seven days later. So its last use was an autom automotive shop and you can just smell smell the history here. Historic Macon's executive director, Ethel Garrington, says the group recently purchased this old building. Inside, they keep a lot of the stuff they need to refurbish walls for their projects. But in this room, well, it's all for you. I think our yard work tools are gonna be the most checked out. Folding compound miter saws, circular saws, Think of Reed Purvis as your librarian. He'll keep track of all the power gadgets and even give you a lesson to boot. You know, I'll show him how to set it up, how to use it safely. We've got a few um, PPE equipment, such as like safety glasses and gloves. And you may wonder why Historic Macon would even get into the tool business. Well, Garrington says it's their job to make sure all buildings have a long life and don't become eyesores. And we know that deferred maintenance is the worst thing for a building. Um, you know, look at the blight initiatives that are happening right now in the community. And who knows, besides your honey-do list, you may find a new hobby. I think this will be a really good way to see new people get into this type of work without having to break the bank, so to speak. And that's a concept you can build on. Suzanne Lawler, 13 WMAZ News. You can visit the Tool Library on Tuesdays from noon until 5 p.m. and Fridays from 8 in the morning until 1 in the afternoon. They're located at 909 2nd Street. The group is also going to do workshops, and this Saturday they've got one on door repair. If you want to see which tools are available and how to sign up, we're going to link you inside this story at 13WMAZ.com.